To set up budgets in Procare, begin at the Procare home screen and go to Configuration and then System. First, check your general ledger dates under the Accounting Management section. Double click that to open it. You'll need to configure these areas manually, each date range that you'd like as a fiscal period. For example, each month in the fiscal year, each quarter or the total year. You'll give it a name and then a start date and an end date for each one of those. So I've set these up. You'll need to set those up before you can set up your budget. Once you have those, go down to the Expenses and Ledger section and then look for school budgeting. This will be set up one school at a time. So the budget will be for the Medford School in this case. And uh, I'll select, for example, the month of January. I've already got this month set up and I have the month of February set up as well, but I don't have March set up yet. So we'll begin there. We have zeros for both the revenue and for the expenses. We have nothing entered yet. Going back to revenue, I'll just make a couple of entries so you can see how to do this. We'll put in, uh, say, 22000 for tuition for the month, then maybe go over to expenses and put in a couple of numbers here for our payroll. And we might put 10000 for the teachers and rent some leases, 6000 and payroll administration, 6000 So now we've got some numbers so we can compare. Uh, let's make that a little bit different there. For, so we've now got 20000 in expenses and 22000 in revenue. And that's one way to set up a month. You could just manually make the entries for each revenue and expense account number that you'd like. Another way to do it is with the month selected at the top that you're building, you can import another month's or range of months into whatever date range you're setting up. So in this case, I'm setting up the month of March. I'd like to import February's budget into March. So I just click the Import button down at the bottom. It'll give me the Import screen here. Highlight my month of February and Import and now I've imported my totals for revenue and for expenses from the month of February into March. Similarly, I can do a quarter that way and select a range of dates by clicking Import. And here, I'll say I'd like to select January, February, and March, those three months. I can select the range by starting with January, hold down the Shift key and click on March, and that will select all three of them. Another way to do it is if you're skipping months or periods in between, you can hold down the control key and click on selected months this way. I'm going to click those first three and select them. That's going to be my first quarter total, so it'll include all of the budget amounts and total them together to give us a grand total for the quarter for uh, revenue and for expenses. So that's how to set up your budgets. Just set up your months, quarters, and year budgets here. Once you have them set up, then you can run reports from uh, any of the m menus where you can reach the reports, standard reports. And then under the expenses and ledger section, go down to the budget. You have a couple of varieties here. Uh, school budget will give you just the budget numbers. The school budget summary will give you actually a comparison of actual to what you budgeted. So I'll just run the first quarter since that's what I have set up. Go ahead and click the Run button. And now I'll get a listing here of, here's our budget that we set up with our total there, and then our actual amounts here. Same thing uh, for expenses down here. Here's the expense budget, and then the actual amount and the variance. And that's how you set up budgets and uh, run budgeting reports for ProCare.